I'll show you a few good reps and then we'll talk about it. So when it comes to a sumo or a wide stance squat, the most important thing to understand is that this is a wider stance squat meant to target the adductors as well as the quads and the glutes. Your normal stance for squatting might be roughly hip width when you're trying to target the quads or the glutes primarily, but to bring in a little bit more adductor, we're gonna widen that stance to roughly outside shoulder width. Now the precise foot position that's gonna be most comfortable for you might be a little bit different than somebody else. What I'm looking for is wider than your normal stance, usually wider than shoulder width and toes pointed out on roughly 30 to 45 degrees. A general rule of thumb is the wider your stance, the more externally rotated your feet should be. If you were doing a squat like this, your toes would be pointed almost all the way out. And the more narrow you bring them, typically you internally wrote them back kind of in that neutral position. So for this sumo squat, I'm gonna show you with a back squat, but you can also do a goblet squat or what's called a straddle lift. I will show you both of those, but all of them involve a wider than shoulder width stance with the toes externally rotated. And as you squat, you want the knees to track out over the toes. And so if my toes are pointed out, I'll use a goblet position here, I want my knees to go out, right? What you don't want is toes and feet like this and then knees kind of tracking in like this. Having a little bit of what's called knee valgus where the knee does travel inward a little bit isn't the end of the world, but the general idea that you should be focused on is pushing the knees out in whichever direction the toes are in. So I'm gonna demonstrate with a barbell back squat, but I'll also show you two other variations, a goblet position and what's called a strata lift position. Both of them are totally fine. I do think that the barbell is gonna help you lift the most weight, but not everyone has a barbell and you might find the other ones more comfortable and you're totally welcome to do that. When it comes to the use of the wedges, I recommend that you use them. It will take out some of the ankle mobility stuff and allow you to get deeper, but it's not entirely mandatory for this exercise. And so if you do prefer squatting without the wedges, you're very welcome to. Now, while I'm gonna be walking out with my barbell just because that's a better angle for taking a video, you should always be facing in and walking back into position. And just so you can see what my stance looks like, I'll show you two pictures now. The top one is what my feet would look like if I was just trying to target the quads or the glutes, frankly. And the bottom one is how I'm set up now for this wide stance sumo squat to target more of the adductors. So I'm gonna unrack the bar, I'm gonna step into position. Again, you should be set up kind of reverse where you're walking back onto the wedges, not forward. My feet are out on something like a 30 to 45 degree angle. And as you can see, my knee is gonna go directly over the toe. It's actually gonna point directly at the camera lens. So pay attention to that as I go down. You're gonna let the hips go back as the knee bend and you're gonna keep the chest relatively upright. It do you don't need to be perfectly upright squatting like this, but you also don't wanna squat like this. And so chest up is an okay cue, just don't take it to the extreme. Descend down until you can't keep a neutral spine anymore. At some point, if you wanna keep going down, you'll find that your lower back starts to round. You wanna stop before that happens. Sit the butt back, knees bend, chest up. See how my knee is going out over the toe, kind of directly towards the camera? That's what you're looking for. For a lot of people, you'll be able to get quite a bit of depth, but don't worry so much about whether or not you're getting deeper than you could with a different stance. Feet are outside shoulder width, toes are pointed out, knees track over the toes, squat down, come back up. If you don't have a barbell or you just prefer doing more of a goblet squat, you're very welcome to. Do everything exactly the same way. Just hold the dumbbell here, still driving the knees out over the toes with that nice wide stance. Now, Instagram loves this lift, so I'll cover it. It's called a strata lift. And in order to get enough range of motion, I have to elevate my feet or the dumbbell hitting the floor would happen before I hit full depth. Then you just do the same technique that we've been talking about like this. You might find that you have to elevate your feet quite a bit because the length of the dumbbell does restrict the range of motion. It's gonna be tough to load this really heavy, just like it's difficult to load the goblet squat with a ton of weight. That said, if you do prefer it and you have heavy enough dumbbells to really challenge yourself in the rep range, you're welcome to do this. So to recap, you wanna set up in your sumo or wide stance squat, 
You're gonna be wider than shoulder width. You're gonna have the toes pointed out 30 to 45-ish degrees, the wider your feet, maybe a little bit more external rotation. From there, you're gonna do your normal squat technique, squatting with a nice neutral spine, sending the butt back, and stopping before you have to round at the back and coming back up. I do recommend you try using the wedges. It's gonna let you get a little bit deeper most likely and that's a good thing here. But you don't have to if you don't like it. Whether you're loading this with a barbell or in a goblet position or with the straddle lift, it's all the same exercise. I'll leave it to you to decide which implement to use, although I will say a back squat with a barbell is gonna let you load this up the heaviest.